Hi guys, welcome back to That Effing Guy. Today we're going to discuss the Twister reboot. The skies are unsafe once more. Just like it's never safe to go back in the water because of Jaws, it's never safe to fly because of Twisters. Anyway, so it was yesterday it was announced that via Variety Magazine Online that Universal have fast-tracked a reboot or are fast-tracking a reboot to the 1996 original disaster favourite well, my childhood favourite, and it's still my favourite to this day, Twister, starring Helen Hunt and the greats, the great, the late greats, Bill Paxton and Philip Seymour Hoffman, as the crazy tornado uh, fandom fanboy Dusty. So, I love Twister. So, like the the fact that they're so obviously I keep, so they're they've announced that they're rebooting it with uh, Top Gun two director uh, John. Kosinski? Is it John Kosinski? John, John Kosinski? Or Joe Kosinski? Joe Kosinski? Literally just had it right there, I know. Unbelievable. Joe Kosinski. Joseph Kosinski. So, Joseph Kosinski is uh, helming the, or is in talks to helm the tw uh, new Twister reboot. So, yes, so Twister, I loved it as a child. It was the greatest disaster film of all time, right? It still is the greatest disaster film of all time, but it had that that feel of 90s nostalgia, but it still got that feel of the 90s nostalgia. It was very, it was a very big tour de force uh, within the 90s disaster films. I mean, it was the first of its time, it was the first disaster film of its time to really push the boundaries when it came to the CGI of the Twisters, the Tornadoes, which are still breathtakingly beautiful to this day. I mean, there's a few we kind of mm, here and there, but the overall Twister effects are fantastic. Bill Paxton still brings that humour, light-heartedness, little bit of drama. It just, it, it was a perfect balance between human nature and humanity. It was perfect. Um, and like I said, it was it was the kind of it was one of the kind of last of their time kind of thing. So obviously we have disaster films through the seventies, eighties, and nineties, and I feel as though Twister was like the last of its kind of time. I mean, you had a wee bit of a kind of throwback when it came to the Day After Tomorrow. I love the Day After Tomorrow. I mean, yeah, the story's a bit kind of meh, but it it was a good wee balance like Twister with the human nature and humanity. It worked quite well um, on a global aspect obviously of disasters. So they were the kind of last of those fun over-the-top Hollywood disaster films that actually had a small place in your heart that you were like that's a really good film I enjoyed that. And then obviously came into the new generation of uh, disaster films 2012, Geostorm, um, San Andreas, which San Andreas was not so bad actually I must admit. Um, there's now today a trailer for Greenland which stars Gerard Butler in a film uh, that basically Geostorm 2 um, and it's about uh, uh, like Armageddon, like asteroids are crash landing into Earth and it turns out it's not just a little asteroid that everyone thinks it is, it turns out they're planet killers. So yeah it looks fun but it's just, it's just very CGI driven again as usual, uh, whereas like I said like Twister was very talking about human nature. It was talking about like you know, two teams of um, exploration teams, obviously to do with twisters, etc. Twister lover, tornado lovers, um, and they both went off to do their own thing. And so it was, it was more of a, a a battle of greatness, of a battle of who's who comes out best, who comes out you know the winner in terms of getting the most information. Out of tornadoes with you know Dorothy with uh, Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton obviously they built Dorothy and then obviously um, the other guy Gary 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 you Gary use Gary use is it I can't remember his uh, Jonas his name is Jonas in the film uh, can't remember his last name last name is it I can't remember so he built like Dorothy but then Bill Paxton is like you stole my design you son of a bitch I love that as bro he's just over the top cheesiness. Um, but Bill Paxton, it was just brilliant. I mean, he's a great actor. I mean, Aliens, Predator 2, True Lies, even Thunderbirds, even Jeff Tracy, fantastic. So, Twister getting rebooted, um, to me, I'm all for it. But at the same time, I'm like, Ugh! because you know what's going to happen? Hollywood are going to just be, it'll be CGI 
action sequences come first and the human stories, the characterizations are behind. Whereas I feel as though Twister 1996 was a balance between the both, like I said. And it's front and centre humanity. Like, can two teams of experts, like, do their own thing and then coincide at some point? You know what I mean? Kind of hang, but they never actually, but you know what I mean? Um, and the Twister was just there to basically kind of add to the suspense and tension, etc. Whereas I feel as though now it'll just be Twister and there'll be a little guy in the background and like, hey, what about me? And that'll be it. But, like, the more me and Abigail were talking about it, the more we were like, it's a good idea because obviously, like, the CG, CGI now has came so far, so it'll be brilliant to see what technology looks like now. Because the closest we got to, like, a Twister remake, reboot, sequel, whatever, was 2014's Into the Storm, which starred Richard Armitage from The Hobbit and other things. Um, I really liked that film. I thought it was a very, very good, uh, a very good kind of, like, uh, modern day kind of trial of like Twister, like to see what they could do now. The special effects were pretty good, the Twister effects were good. It was a very good film, um, but it never really lived up to it. Never, it, was, it, was, it was never going to be Twister. So, and Bill Paxton, before he sadly passed away like years and years ago, did talk about an, the idea of doing a Twister sequel, a Twister 3D sequel, with him directing it and obviously overseeing it, etc. Which would have been fantastic because obviously you're getting the original actor back to then you know, oversee a whole new film. Um, and that's the thing that the, the reboot will miss because obviously the reboot will. I'm assuming if, if if Helen Hunt says yes, she'll probably get brought back in as like kind of legacy sequel kind of thing. Uh, but obviously a reboot, like Jurassic World situation. Legacy sequel, but reboot, but you know, whatever. And we're looking at, obviously, Bill Paxton would come back, but he's, you know, dead, sadly, so it is what it is. Um, but we're looking at who could you cast, who would you cast? So I came up with two ideas, Josh Brolin or Timothy Oliphant. Two actors who don't get... Josh Brolin has more that has had more than what, like, you know, he does. He's, he's, he's a lot of acting careers. Gangster Squad, Hollow Man, how, how people forget about that film, it's a great film. Um... Obviously, because he's that he's Thanos. Men in Black Three played young Agent K. Played he played young Tommy Lee Jones. That was perfect, perfect and eerie. The same thing. You're like that's really weird. Uh, Sicario One and Two, uh, Gangster Squad. He's done a lot. Jonah Hex. Ooh, it was a bad film. He was quite good. But it was a bad film. Uh, Michael Fassbender was good actually. Uh, Megan Fox. Uh, um, and then Timmy Oliphant. Timmy Oliphant is an actor that deserves more but doesn't get that much. Deadwood, Justified, he's done, Hitman, even Hitman, he was, he was good as Hitman, it's just the film is very kind of bland. Because, like, Hitman is all about just, like, targets, missions, not, like, story, a love interest, yeah. Um, so I feel as though for a new Twister reboot, I would cast either Timothy, Lo Timothy, Timothy Oliphant or Josh Brolin as, like, the new, the new Bill Paxton. Um, more towards, I'd maybe, I'd maybe cast... Josh Brolin more because he has got a very he is very similar to Bill Paxton in terms of looks not looks but just his, his antics his techniques his characterization his uh, characteristics he is very Bill Paxton -y. I mean when you go back to Hollow Man with Kevin Bacon Paul Verhoeven's brutal and gory superbly special effects uh, Invisible Man update which was Hollow Man Josh Brolin's character felt very Bill Paxton -y. I mean like you could see Bill Paxton in that role um, of that kind of like, just I don't know. It was just it was just fun. So Josh Brolin, I I think would be perfect for like the new Bill Paxton, and for like the new Helen Hunt. Keep doing that new Helen Hunt, uh, Jessica Chastain or Chastain, how we call her, Just Chastain. I, I like Jessica Chastain. I feel as though she's very kind of underrated as well. Um, but I kind of just hope they don't cast someone like Chris Pratt. I love Chris Pratt. I think he's fantastic as Star Lord. He's all right in Jurassic World. It's not. It's, I don't know if he suits Jurassic World. I feel as though he's trying to kind of do a Harrison Ford and be like, I can do Star Wars, I can do Indiana Jones at the same time. Star Wars being his Guardians of the Galaxy, or Guardians of the Galaxy being his Chris Pratt Star Wars, and Jurassic World being like his Indiana Jones kind of situation. Even though, don't get me wrong, I'm like, you know, like, I'm double dutching myself and like contradicting myself and saying that. I want Chris Pratt as the new Indiana Jones. Either Chris Pratt or Bradley Cooper would be perfect for the new Indiana Jones once Harrison Ford, you know, says nah or, you know, dies and Disney come calling because, you know, the 
phone bills due or the you know <laughs> the electrical bills are due and I'm like we need to make an Indiana Jones 6 um, but yeah what are, you, what are your comments below guys um, are you looking forward to a new Twister film are you all for it are you not I'm for it but at the same time I'm hoping that they don't take the piss with like the CGI and the over-the-top special effects and do more like characterization and also cast car cast a, a set of people who can play believable characters that you believe they are storm chasers etc. You know what I mean? You don't want to have like Mr. Nice Sexy Hollywood like Chris Pratt for example coming in and being like yeah I've chased storms for the last 20 years of my life eh you don't, it doesn't feel believable whereas Helen Hunt and Chris Pratt, Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman as uh, Dusty, they felt believable. Like you felt that they've been travelling for years and years chasing storms. So yeah, um, what are your thoughts below? Thoughts, um, give me your thoughts below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah.